I am Matt Beard. Yep, that's my real name. And I only have a beard because I'm lazy and I don't like to shave. I'm also an artist, and it may look like I'm just out here doing some painting on a rugged corner of California's coast. But I'm doing something more than that. I'm also writing a book. I know it doesn't look like it, but step into my world for a few minutes, I'll tell you a little about myself, why this book needs to happen, and why I could really use your help to make it a reality. This? This is where I'm from, and I consider the entire California coast to be my home. Which means that a lot of the time, this is my home. And I try to make the most of it. I relax here. I eat right here. I sit over here when I'm bored. I read books back here. I sleep here. And of course, there's always the chance that I'll be told I have to leave here. But wherever I end up going, I still wake up and drink my morning coffee here. I pretty much do whatever I want here. Overall, though, it can be a cramped and awkward existence here. To be honest, it's not nearly as fun as it sounds. But then again, it's worth it because it allows me to call this my home. And I also call it my art studio. Today, it just happens to be this hidden corner on the far northern part of California's coast. But I've been traveling the entire length of the state, from the Oregon border to the edge of Mexico and back several times a year for as long as I can remember. And for the last 10 or 15 years, it's been my goal to paint as much of it as I possibly can. Now, I don't make any claims to having painted all of its coast. There's always a spot around the corner to explore and only so much time in a day. But I don't know of too many artists out there who have dedicated themselves to the trouble of painting the whole state's coastline with quite as much intentionality as I have done for the last decade or so. I've painted over 400 paintings along the 840 miles of California's coastline. The average distance between each painting is barely more than two miles at this point, and I'm filling in gaps all the time. I've painted in every coastal county of the state, San Diego, Orange County, Los Angeles, Ventura, Santa Barbara, San Luis Obispo, Monterey, Santa Cruz, San Mateo, San Francisco, Marin, Sonoma, Mendocino, Humboldt, Del Norte, Shoot, I've even painted along the east coast of California, also known as Lake Tahoe. Good grief. California is a big place, but like I said, it's my home, and I love it. I'm not stopping anytime soon, so there's no place I'd rather be than out here on the edge of the earth, watching the waves below, hearing the birds, immersing myself in the changing light of the day. This is not the controlled environment of an indoor studio. This is the real world where almost nothing comes easy. Out here, I have to deal with private property, sketchy cliffs, parking tickets, Friendly locals, run-ins with the authorities, poison oak, ticks, <laughs> I hate ticks. I've been writing these backstories down and saving them for years, and even though each of these minor difficulties bring with them the temptation to make excuses and call it quits for the day, they are also some of the very things that make the completion of each painting so satisfying. Even if I were to print them all out and post them on a wall beside the art as it hangs in a gallery, I mean, come on, how many people have ever bothered to read anything posted on a gallery wall? right? Now don't get me wrong, I love seeing my art all framed up and hanging on a clean wall where the art is the sole focus of attention, but since I make my living as an artist, most of the art I've made over the years is already sold and out of my hands. So even if I wanted to show this broad collection of California Coast work in a grand gallery showing, at this point it's just not an option. And besides, a gallery show just could not convey all those backstories that speak of the process it took to make the paintings happen. To me, these stories are as much a part of the painting as the paint itself. And that, my friends, is why I'm hoping to publish this first volume of my life's work, Painting the California Coast. I can think of no better way to share these visions of California than through the timelessly satisfying format of a book. The wide range of locations up and down the entire coast, printed in full rich color, the backstories told through memories, journal notes, historical observations, oddball poetry, whatever comes to mind, these will all be woven together in 176 pages of hardbound glory. Fortunately, I found a publisher, Novi Albion Publishing, who has agreed to give me full creative control of this project. Though, I should also tell you that Novi Albion Publishing is really just my wife and I, and we could really use your help to make it happen. If we don't reach our funding goals, we don't get a dime from this campaign. So we hope you'll consider supporting us today. For a pledge of only 50 bucks, which is less than the $60 final price that the book will be, you'll have yours reserved and when they arrive this fall, you'll be one of the first to have it in your hands. So whether you simply reserve your book to be shipped to your doorstep once it's ready, or whether you have me deliver your book in person on my next road trip through your area so I can paint your favorite location while you just sit back, relax, and watch it happen, or whether you just share the daylights out of this thing with everyone you think might be interested, whichever path you choose to show your support, you are all my heroes. Thank you.